Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the temperature scales, various temperature scales and derivation of or maybe you can say that the formula conversions from Kelvin to Celsius, Kelvin to Fahrenheit and Fahrenheit from Celsius. If you go through this lecture very well then you will also find out how these temperature scales are converted from one, one to the another as well as you can also create your own temperature scale. Shown here in the diagram there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 equal glass tubes, glass containers of equal size, equal volume, everything is identical and we have filled these with mercury inside. The amount of mercury is kept same in all four containers. Since the four, all four are identical, the amount of mercury inside them is also same and up to the same height which can be seen from the diagram. Here we have another two containers in which one having ice and the another one has boiling water. Let us assume that we all, we keep all these four identical glass tubes which are having mercury in them, we dip it in boiling water. So what is going to happen? The mercury is going to absorb the heat energy from the boiling water and since the mercury becomes hot, mercury will expand. On expansion, you will see that this mercury climbs up and let us say the mercury reaches over here at this level. But since the all four containers are having same amount of mercury, all four containers are identical, so you will see that the increase in the length will be same in all four. So these are the final heights at which the mercury is going to climb. Now Celsius gave this marking as 100 degree Celsius, Fahrenheit gave this marking as 212 degree Fahrenheit, Kelvin gave this marking as 373 Kelvin. Make sure that we always say degree Celsius, degree, degree Fahrenheit. We say degree Kelvin but we never write down degree K over here. Let us keep this fourth as it is. Okay, now the, this, these are the final readings or final lengths at which the mercury is going to climb. Now again put this all four identical glass tubes in glass. So what is going to happen? The ice is at lower temperature, the mercury is comparatively at higher temperature. So the heat will transfer from higher temperature to lower temperature. So the mercury will start cooling and the mercury will contract. So what is going to happen? The level of mercury is going to decrease. Let us assume that the final level of mercury is this. Why this has happened? Because the mercury was already expanded till this height because it was in boiling water. But if you put it in ice, the mercury is going to contract and now since all four are identical, whatever is going to happen over here, same is going to happen in the other three containers as well. So the mercury reading uh, actually went down and came over here. So in all the other cases also, in the all other containers also, the mercury level fell down and these are the final levels of the mercury. This temperature reading was given 0 degree Celsius by Celsius and this was said to be at uh, this was said to be at 273 Kelvin by Kelvin and this was said to be 32 degree Fahrenheit by Fahrenheit. So if you look carefully what has happened over here by putting by putting all these four vessels in ice and uh, boiling water we saw that the mercury went up till here and the mercury went down till here. Now if you look if you would look carefully you will find out that the this length of mercury is same in all of them. This length is L. Now this length L is same for all of them. Now in terms of temperature reading I can define this length as difference in the upper point minus difference in the 
lower point. Here for uh, the Fahrenheit scale, I can say that this length is again same over here, L. This L is equal to 212 degree Fahrenheit minus 32 degree Fahrenheit. For Kelvin scale, this length again is same. This length L is equal to upper point 373 Kelvin minus 273 Kelvin. So let us once again understand what we have done till now. We saw that when we dip all these four equal, equally uh, filled mercury identical containers, if we dip them into boiling water, the mercury level goes here. And if you put it in the ice, the mercury level goes down and comes over here. But this L length is the length by which the mercury went up or the mercury went down. But this L is same in all the cases. It is because the containers are identical. Same liquid is, felt, is filled in all the four containers. And these situations are also same for all of them. This is called the lower fixed point of the thermometer and this is called the upper fixed point of the thermometer. We will come to know, we will study about this in somewhat more depth afterwards. Okay. Now let us assume that you have an imaginary vessel which contains some hot water at some temperature T. We don't know what the temperature T is. Now again dip them all four in that particular vessel which has got a water at some temperature T. That is quite hot but not 100 degree. It is less than 100 degree and more than 0 degree. So let us assume that you have a vessel. That vessel contains water at 60 degree. And we are dipping all these four containers in that vessel having water at 60 degree. Then what is going to happen? The liquid level, the mercury level is going to rise from here. It is going to rise from here, it is going to rise from here, again it is going to rise from here. Again you will see that the mercury will rise by the same amount. It is because mercury expands by same amount due to the identical containers and identical difference in the temperatures. Let us assume this reading as C, this reading as F, this reading as K. Let us keep this as it is and now this length by which the mercury went up is x, x, x. This x is actually difference of upper point minus lower point. Here the x is equal to f minus 32. Here x is equal to k minus 273. Let us find out the ratio and we may also say that L is same in all four, x is same in all four. So if we find out L by x ratio in all the four cases it will be same. Fine. So L by x ratio over here turns out to be 100 minus 0 upon c minus 0. That L by x ratio is same as this L by x ratio that is 212 minus 32 upon f minus 32. Here L by x ratio is 373 minus 273 upon k minus 273. Now if you compare any of these two, suppose if you want to convert Fahrenheit into Celsius then you can equate these two. If you want to uh, convert Fahrenheit into Kelvin we can equate these two and if you want to <clears throat> convert Kelvin into Celsius, we can equate these two. So let us continue our discussion on the next sheet. So finally, we had come up with this formula L by X that is equal to 100 minus 0 upon C minus 0 that is equal to 212 minus 32 upon F minus 32 that is equal to 373 minus 273 upon k minus 273. Let us convert Celsius into Fahrenheit. So we are going to equate these two equations. It is because L was same in all cases. 
x was also same in all for all the cases so l by x ratio will be same for all the cases so 100 minus 0 is 100 c minus 0 is c 212 minus 32 is 180 upon f minus 32 you can cut these two 2 5s are 2 9s are and we can then cross multiply and we can get our answer as 9 into c that is equal to 5 f minus 32 so c is equal to 5 by 9 f minus 32 so here we come up with a very important formula so i guess that we now need not to mug up for any kind of uh, formulas in the exams we can if you even forget it then you can also derive it in a small space let us also convert the celsius into uh, the kelvin so we are going to equate these two and here it is 100 minus 0 so that is 100 upon c that is equal to 373 minus 273 is 100 upon k minus 273 so these two gets cancelled cross multiply here 1 into 1 so k into 273 k minus 273 is equal to c into 1 is c so kelvin is equal to celsius plus 273 so here we also come up with a another derivation now we may also wonder that what is the purpose of this last one last vessel in which there is mercury and the same thing is happening over here so i am going to make my own thermometer and uh, i am going to give this thermometer as my name as as this is my surname okay now i am selecting this point which was the melting point of ice that is the 0 degree as per celsius 32 degree as per fahrenheit and 273 as per kelvin i am going to select any random number let me call this as 10 degree m on my scale and i can also uh, select uh, this boiling point of water as say for example 150 m degree m now this length l is again same as the other one and this length x is also going to be the same so my l for my scale would be equal to 150 degree m minus 10 degree m and my x would be equal to let us call this as m degree this reading as m degree so m minus the lower point so l by x ratio can be equated over here that is 150 minus 10 upon m minus 10 so i can equate these two and convert my own m into kelvin and different scales but the scale which i have made is not standard it is not accepted by all people in the in the world so by this way everyone can make their own thermometer but this is not advisable hopefully you are you have understood this derivation well 